We see Atta Nishmai return to the pages of this week's Parshish Korach. And of course, that well known Taina of a notorious Korach Vikalu Amoshi Vialaron Vayom Olehem. Harav Lachem, Harav Lachem, you're taking too much for yourselves. Beautiful Remez of Rabbeinu Ephraim, one of the Bali Atesis. What's Rav Lachem, as Rashi mm-hmm. points out? Karl said, What are you taking? You're taking Levia, you're taking Kahuna. You're taking Malchus, you're taking everything. Zabdo Beinu Ephraim, Rav Lachem, Lachem, Lamed Chof Mem, Levia, Kahuna, and Malchus. You're taking everything for yourself. Save something for other people. No, this is the Baal Machlekes. Why? See, he starts Machlekes. What's Machlekes all about? We mentioned in the past. Based on the Gemara Sanhedrin of Zion and Aleph, a well known Shlach Kaddish. Let's take a word at, let's take a closer look at the very word Machlekes. Mem, Ches, Lamed, Kuf. And then the sof, again, the silent vav. But you have a mem. What's a mem? It's almost entirely closed. But what? There's a little hole at the bottom. You're starting machlekes at the beginning of the word machlekes. It starts out as a little pirza, one little small hole. On the bottom corner of the mem is a little hole. But what happens? Aches. Now that hole widens, and now it takes up the entire bottom. The machlekes starts one little small thing, and then it spreads. And now you remove the entire bottom. That's the ches. And then he moved up to the lamed. What's the lamed? The tallest of all the letters in the alabay. Zak the shla. The machlekes is going all the way up to shemayim. Not just a horizontal breakdown, but a vertical breakdown as well. A lamed, the machlekes, goes all the way up to shemayim. Followed immediately thereafter by the kuf. The kuf is the letter that goes the lowest. The kuf into the ground. Like karach mina kenegamida. Starts machlekes, goes into the ground. Machlekes goes all the way up and it goes all the way down. Vertically. And then what? And then machlekes. Focus stays around forever with the concluding letter Sof, Shabbos Kuvdalad, Amin Aleph, Menor Shos Yosh Rabbi Akiva, MS. What's MS? It's Omen Al Shtei Raglaim, the Aleph, two strong, mighty legs, the Memes Solid Base, the Sof, the two mighty legs. Machlekes started with a little hole, then it was Nisrachev Melmato, and how's the Ches? Went all the way up to Shemayim the Lam and all the way down out to the depths of the world itself, and that is the Kuf, and then Sof, like the MS, concludes with the top, that's Omen Al Shtei Raglaim. The Machlokas sticks around. Uh, nothing good could ever come out of Machlokas. That's what my dear you did. Alavi uh, Greetsman shared with me years ago. Uh, we have Machlokas even at the Shorish of the first Remes to the Yudvei Shvatim. Uh, where's the first Remes to 12 Shvatim? Let's rewind. Let's turn the pages back to the outset of Ayetze. Yaakov is on the journey by Yishkev HaMakamun. What does he do? He takes the 12 stones. Again, different Rosh's Chalukas, but the most famous minister of them all. 12 all stones connected to Yud Beis Shvatim, and they're all fighting. Ola Yanuach Tzadik, Yanuach Tzadik is Oisha. I want the hailing ahead of a Yakovina should rest upon me. Hashem says, No, we're going to make Shalom. We're going to make Shalom. So what happens? Miraculously, they all merge, they all fuse, and they become one great Evan. Uh, one huge stone. So Lavi told me, you heard once a beautiful part uh, that a certain rub once asked, I don't understand if the whole idea is about making shalom. And now Yaakov is to go to sleep for the night. Uh, Rabbi Sa, you've all been camped, you've all camped sometime in your life. If you just have no sleeping bag and your head is resting on a stone, you're not going to be all that comfortable. It could be a nice big stone. But if it's all about making the tzana comfortable, turn it into a pillow. Uh, give him a nice down pillow. Uh, why? It's now a big stone. And at the end of the day, how comfortable is even a big stone? I go in and turn it into a pillow. Terence says, if something started in Machlikes, it will never become a soft pillow. If the Shoresh Indian, if the starting point was Machlikes, even if you manage to put the pieces of the puzzle back together, it's still going to create discomfort. It's still not going to be Geshmak. It'll be one big stone. But it started with Machlikes, no down pillow, and no down comfort, or no soft sleep sleeping bag, or even a towel doubled over when you add of everything else in the end of the day. One big stone, because Machlikes, that's what it's all about. Messes everything up. The only way 
uh, to have something that's going to be free of machlaikis beginning to end. Well, let's go to Rabbi Yochanan Asalner's famous memra and the fourth parak of Perkei Avos. Rabbi Yochanan Asalner tells us, "Kol kenei siya she the shem shemayim so for the sky." But many before shall understand lavdavka ruchnius doesn't have to be a ruchnius to kasiya. The idea is a kenei siya, but if it's a gathering of yidden and it's done the shem shemayim, bein beolam a ruchnius, bein the alagasha yidden the gathering together, it's going to be so for the sky. But kenei siya that's not the shem shemayim ain't so for the sky. Beautiful diak of the maral and his derechayim. Why is the choice word of Rabbi Yochanan Masal or Kinesia? Why not the Nasifa? Why not a Kahila? We typically talk about what? Uh, yes, we happen to be the white show, Knesset Yisrael. And we know, and we'll get to that, why Lemaises Chaiso, when I refer to as Kehilas Yisrael, when I refer to as Asifas Yisrael, there might be a of Kahal Adas Yeshurid, Mitzvah Hakel, Abu Lemaisen were known from time immemorial as what? Knesset Yisrael. What's this idea of the choice terminology of Knesia? Explains the Maral, because the only way to make it so for this guy, the only way to ensure, to guarantee that it's going to last and it's going to stay around, you have to bring in the Ebershtur, because the Ebershtur, Elchad Yochanim, Yuchanan, Yerishon, Manach, Bani Yachro, HaKadosh Ruchel, Kavi Yochel, he's the only infinite being in this world. So you got to bring Hashem into the Indian. If you have an Asifa, Aleph, Samach, Yud, and then you have the Fei, hey, writes the Maral and his Der Chaim and Ovis. And the word Asifa, you have the Shem Hashem, the Yun and the Hey, but they're not together, they're separated by the Yos Pei. And the word Kehila, Nochabal, you have the Yun and the Hey, the Shem of Hashem is where is. And the notion of a Kehila, but it's Kuf, Hey, Yun, Lam, and Hey, the Yun and the Hey appear, but they're not juxtaposed, they're not adjacent to one another, they're separated by the Lam and the word Kehila, only in the word Kenesia. Uh, Kenes cause up the morale. You want a Kenesia that's going to last, you got to bring Hashem into it. How do you bring Hashem into it? Kenesia, Kenes cause. You got to make sure the letters of Hashem are together. Agavaldic, here you have the Maragum that created such a period, such a Machlaikes. What's the way to counteract them? Ayukam Moshe, La Hoshea Benun, Yehoshua, Kal Yoshiachem, Ayatis Ragum. I need to get the Yud and the Hay together. How Gishmak Yoshua, the Arizal tells us, and in a number of places was the Gilgal of Yosef. Yosef lived to 110, Yoshua lived to 110. And Yosef was Shemira Sabris Tikkun Ayesod, and Yeshua is the one the Meder Shtan Chuma says who gave Klai Yisrael the Bris Milo the night he sees the time, and he gives them another Bris Milo when they go into Eretz Yisrael. Yosef was being seduced by Ashes Potiphar, Azak the Ariza on Shark Gulen, Rochav Azona, the wife of Yoshua, the Gilgal of Yosef. She herself was a Gilgal of Ashes Potiphar, and that's the shot that Ashes Potiphar saw. That one day she would unite, not just because Osnos, her adopted daughter, would marry Yosef, but because Ashes Potiphar would be Niskagula as Rochav Azona, and Rochav would convert and marry Yoshua, the Gilgal of Yosef at and it all comes full circle. Hagishmak, so Yoshua is what? Is Hoshea becomes Yoshua. And Tilim Payalif, Yosef was Yosef, and then Adas be a Hosef Samo. A Yun and Hay is the prefix. The Yun and Hay together, they were living with Hashem. Yosef says, I'm not the one interpreting the dreams, it's all a Kodesh Baruchu. Yosef, Adas be a Hosef. Hoshea, Yoshua. Can you see a Kenneth Yun and Hay when you bring Hashem into your life, into your midst? And then you're good to go. Now, Lamaisa Korach knows the secret. So what does Korach say? Va'yikalu amoshu v'yalon v'yomor leim rab lachem k'kol eida kulam kadoshim. Everybody is kadoshim. We all stood, as Rashi points out, based in Chazal. We stood collectively at the Piedmont of Sinai. We all sanas and nishma. How we all were together. We witnessed. We're all holy. But then he adds, "V'sochem Hashem." So we discussed in the past, based on the Malbim, a Gavaldiga distinction, the Malbim writes in the Sefer Yair Or, and the back of a Carmel, the Malbim's dictionary that's collated from Perushia Malbim and all of Tanakhs, in the Sefer Yair Or, what's the difference between a Kal and an Ada? Explains the Malbim, a Kal is everyone's together. Mitzvah Sakel, Anoshim, Noshim, and Tav, everyone's together, gathered. Side by side, that's the notion, the concept of a kehila. What is an Ada? An Ada explains the Malbim, connotes a sense of a hierarchy. I mean, there's a sense, yes, there'll be a Moshe on top, then an Aaron, a Kohen, Allah, we shiv him, there's a sense of hierarchy. And so it's very Gishmak. What's Klai Yisrael? We're not a Kahal, we're not an Ada, we're a Kahal, Adas Yashurin. We're Ba'etz of an Ada, but we're a Kahal of an Ada. We take the Ada and we bring everyone in the Ada together. And notice how Gishmak the Diyukim, Avayi Kalu, a Moshe, 
Kulam. Korach says, I'm coming as a cow, because what Kulam Kadoshim? We're all mamish the same. Vayomalayim, Arav Lachem, Kikola Eida, Kulam Kadoshim. And you're saying we need an Eida? No, they're all Kadoshim. And therefore, I do it to Snasu Al Kahal Hashem. Vayikalu Kahal Hashem. He's coming, it's all Kilo. We don't need anyone on top. We all stood together at Sinai. Let's have a Kilo. Vayishma Moshe, what happens? Vayidar Al Korach, Vayel Kola Doso, Gishma. Korach came by Yikalu, Kahal Hashem. How does Moshe respond in the famous mission of Perkei Avos? It's not the Machok Yashalosh Shoim, it's not Korach against Moshe. It's Korach Machol Adaso, because there was internal strife and conflict within them. They all had different Kamanis. And Moshe sees right through it. It's not a Kahilo. Vayadabra Loshin Koshe, El Korach Vayel Kol Adaso. Korach, you don't want a Kahilo, you want an Ada. You want a hierarchy as well. You just want to be the guy on top. And thus, every time Moshe addresses Korach, it's always separating Korach and his Ada. It's all what? It's all by Yomer Moshe Al Korach. I'm separating Korach from the rest of the Eidah. That's what the whole idea is all about. It's not you and a Kahila, it's you and your Eidah. You also want a hierarchy, Korach. You just want to be the guy on top. What are we about? So we're Kahala Nasir Shur and we're an Eidah. And you need to have Gedoli Yisol Man Higay Hador. You need to have emotion, you need to have Aaron. You always need for the structure, perpetuating a structure, a dynamic of Klai Yisrael, you need to have a sense of hierarchy. We need to have leaders. We can't have a socialist framework. Everybody's just on par in the equal footing. There has to be hierarchy. But what? We take the hierarchy we bring everybody together. The Melech is moved on Menaam, but his job is to be Ma'achi De'am, Achanam the Melech, Melech backwards Kulam. He's there to represent the people, to serve the people. Mitzvah Hakil, he'll be separate from the people, but addressing them all collectively. So we need to have a Kehila, we need to have an Eidah, but of course, what do we bet them? Can they see Because we bring us Shem into the midst. Or by saying another little horror. Korach didn't just say by Yikalu. He didn't just come with the taina that we always call Kikola Edom Kulam Kedoshim. He added two extra words. What did he say? Uba Socham Hashem. And now, where do we know this idea? So, what does he have to do that? His taina was Kola Edom Kulam Kedoshim. What's Besocham Hashem? He's tying to Moshe Rabbeinu. Where do we have Besocham? Let's go to the beginning of Truma. Uh, what was the Asiyas Beniyas HaMishkan? It was to be a daily, a Yom Yomi reenactment of Maimon HaSinai. We were all together and what? Avishachati Besocham. Asuli Mikdav Shachati Besocham. The famous Medrash. We don't have the Medrash. We don't have the Chazal. But we have the Alshach HaKodesh Rabbeinu. Ephraim already is Marami's too. But the Alshach says in Mephorish in the beginning of Parsis Truma. At Shud Seiv Asuli Mikdav What's Korach coming with a tie now? Uh, we don't need you, Moshe. Why? Because the Yikur Taklis is not. We don't need to have a Mishkan even that's him. Or oh, Kulam Kadeshim and Besocham Hashem. It's all to have what? Hashem is Besocham. Besocham. We all stood in our scene. We're all Kulam Kadeshim. God spoke to us all collectively. Oh, Besocham Hashem. They already got a piece of the Shekhin inside them. What do you need to make yourselves different? So what's Moshe's response, Lachaira? A Korach, what are you talking about? Yes, a Mishkan is Ma'achid Klai Yisrael. Yes, Rav Yaakov Kamenetsky's famous piece in Emes the Yaakov, uh, that we have a Menashim, remember Rabbah, and Parashat Beis and Ozayin. Every Shevan has its own color, its own symbol, its own flag. When did Hashem divide us into respective distinct Degolim? Only after we had the Tzivoy to build a Mishkan. Why? Only when you have a Mishkan that unites everyone encircling the Mishkan, the Ored, the Luchas, the Shevei Luchas, the Luchas Abris. Only when you have everyone equally encircling the Mishkan, uh, then you could have now a distinction. Once you recognize you're all together, now and only now can you have your own flag, your own symbol, your own shaver. But until we had a Mishkan, you needed the Torah to unite us. So Korach looks at the Mishkan and says, what? The Yikur Tachas is like the Yal Shech, is like the Nev Shechayim and Shar Aleph and Shar Aleph and Perk Dalit and Hagal, that the Yikur Tachas is Beso Kol Echad to look to the Mishkan as a microcosm and recognize Hashem dwells inside each and every one of us. So Korach says, we don't need you anymore, Moshe. Hashem spoke to us all. There's a piece of Hashem inside everybody. We don't need you, Moshe. Says, Kaira, are you losing sight? Right? You're looking at the verse. You look to the What's the tour of the Mishkan? Yes, like Rav Yaakov Kanetsky, we all encircled the Mishkan. Over when can we encircle the Mishkan? After you first build the internal framework and structure of the Mishkan. And what is that? The internal structure of the Mishkan is that you have a Kodesh HaKadosh where only one person, one 
unique person goes on the most unique day of the year in Yom Kippur. No one else can go into the Kodesh Kodesh. It's off limits. And then you have the Kodesh and the Kohanim can go there. He can have a Vilna Gon and Ramosha Feinstein and a Baron Kohler. He can have Gedoli Yisola Doidaris. And if they're not Kohanim, they're not going into the Kodesh. Off limits. And then you have the place where the Esra Sanoshim and the woman can't go. And then you have the Ezra's notion. What's the whole structure of the of the Mishkan? There are distinct places for distinct people. But like Rabbi Yaakov, what do we do? Uh, we, we encamp, we encircle around the Mishkan. It unites us. Yes, that's the centerpiece of the Jewish encampment. And we encircle it because that's what's Ma'achim the Yab. Uh, but let's not lose sight. Korach is just looking. Ah, Yab B'Sokham Hashem. It is B'Sokham Hashem. The Iker Taklis is B'Sokham Hashem. The Yechad. Uh, but Korach, don't lose sight of the structure of the Mishkan. In the end of the day, only only the Levium get to sing. Only the Kohanim get to do the Avodah. In the end of the day, that is the structure. You can't have everybody in circle until you build the Etzim Metzius of a Tzuris HaMishkan. And what's that? There's a place for the Kohen Godot, a place for the Kohanim, a place where the Levium sing, a place for the Anoshimar, a place for the Anoshimar. Imagine Binyan by Shlish of Harry Amedo, and the woman say, this isn't fair, right? Uh, Egalitarianism, I want to be with the men on. And imagine, can you imagine, I don't know, Yaakov Shweki, Avram Fried, Mordechai and David, I don't know if any of them are Levium. Can you imagine? Imagine they're all lined up. You got Shuaki and you got Mordechai Shapiro. It's a Kayan. And I repeat, it's a Kayan. Imagine all these great singers are lined up. And what? Yeah, this guy is a regular lady who struggles, right? You know, when it comes to washing the Kayan's head, and comes to mini by a slishi. These renowned singers are going to have to stand on the sidelines. And this guy with a mini hooker voice, Hashem will send him see out to the Shemaya. He'll sound good. We'll, we'll absorb him into everybody else. Can you imagine? And Terrence is behind. What do you mean he's got the best voice? But if he's not a lady, he he ain't singing the Shiva Salavim. And that's the Ikravonus of Draman and Balais Raperches Mosokafe. The Ikravonus Salavim is Rashir. But what? That is the way to have a Christ. So there's some people who get to sing, and there's some people who get to be Mark of the Kabonis. And the Anoshim have their place, and the Anoshim have their place. That is the Tsuri. You can't encircle a Mishkan until you build a Mishkan. Korach, you're looking from the outside. Oh, cool, I'm Kadoshim. Hashem, we got a Shem in us. Yeah, you only have a Shem in you because you look to the Mishkan as a microcosm, but you're looking from the outside. Moshe says, but I got the best view. You're looking correct from the outside. I'm in the Mishkan. And don't ignore the Tzura. First, you got to build the Mishkan before you encircle it. And the very end, some Tzura, some Mishkan, the Phineas Taiti, is built on an Ada. What is it after we build the Ada internally from a physical perspective? Then we have a Kahal. We all encircle as a Kila around the Mishkan, recognizing the centerpiece of all Kaiso, the Eben Ashasiya, the Kodesh HaKadosh, the Torah, the Lukas, the Shavi Lukas, the Lukas Abris. And by what? You need to have both. You need to have. We are Kahala Das Yeshurit. We are an Ada. We start out being an Ada, and then you have to have a Kahala Ada. We bring everybody together. Korach, I do it to sound to Kal Hashem. It's not a Kal Hashem, it's Korach and Ada. So I see right through it. That's Parshish Kairach. Have a wonderful night and a great rest of the weekend. Can I